What's up, YouTube? This is Fade Dragon Tear here. And this is Ari. Hey. And uh, we're playing a Dream of Mirror Online today for the Celestial Dragons. Um, Dream of Mirror Online is a 3D MMORPG uh, published by Area Games and developed by Softstar, I believe the name of the company was. Yep. Um, so we're going to do a little let's play from the beginning here, and I'm just going to start creating a character right off the bat. Um, so we have four races. We have sprites, shuras, sylphs, and humans. Um, the sprites are just like little sprite people. Shuras are like large cat or dragon people. Um, sylphs are uh, metrosexual floating people. And humans are human, which is exactly what I'm going to be, the non-s people because humans are awesome. Uh, what race did you end up picking, Eric? I went human, too. Awesome. Humans for the win. Yep. All right. And just going through the customization options here. Um, I actually really do like the look of the characters in Domo. Um, you can actually um, customize them even more after you go out, because there's hair dyes, and you can change your... There's for girls, there's even you can change your cup size, and um, there's also cosmetic vouchers. They're a lot more expensive, though, so, uh, yeah, you want to not really change um, the more... Or you want to be more or less happy with your, your facial or your uh, cup and whatnot, mostly. Right, because it's going to cost you money to make that change later. I like think the actual money. Yeah, I think the actual cosmetic voucher, not counting, not the just individual individual ones, are over a million gold. While the um, the regular ones might be more three thousand, seven thousand range. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, I need to think of a character name. Oh my lord! And I know for a fact Fade is taken in this game because I am Fade in this game. Hmm. <laughs> and if we also have the zodiac. Um, basically, if you choose your z like certain Chinese zodiac signs, um, it affects your luck, uh, which I don't know affects anything aside from just like some of the missions that you can do, as I recall. Oh, it affects your love too, like who you're uh, chained to. Right, and Domo also has a love system where uh, basically like you'll meet random people in the world running around and they'll have like this pink line to you and this heartbeat whenever they're near you. Um, and that means that you have some form of a relationship to that person. So you can add them to friends to see exactly what that relationship is. Um, it'll allow you to be, uh, I believe there's friend and relative and lover. Mm -hmm. Uh. When you first add them, they become, uh... Okay, if you add them while you have the beating heart, then it becomes a heart. And then if you add them while it's not beating, it'll be a relative. And then you have the option of making them a quote, quote, true in love. Uh, and there's definitely, like, every variation of fate is taken. So let's try something <laughs> else. Can you use dashes? Uh, yes, you can. You can use spaces, too. <laughs> really? I just found out, yeah. See this person? Uh, they have a they have a space. Oh wait, no, that's not a space. They have a sorry. It was a whatever you call it. Oh, can... Apostrophe. Ah. I will try using a hyphen for mine. Aha! I'm in. So yeah, uh, just while I'm here, we have Fade, who is my level 70 Blade Master, looking a lot cooler than Fade Dragon Tear, who is my level 1 newbie. <laughs> but hopefully uh, we'll get through the game quite a bit, and Fade Dragon Tear will be just as cool as Fade someday, when he grows up. Alright, so we're diving into the uh, tutorial area now. Uh, they have like a little cinematic here. Uh, 
I remember uh, when I first started playing Domo, this was very impressive to me. I have never seen anything like this kind of a story in an MMO at that point. Uh, mind you, this was like four or five years ago, so... I think open, closed beta started in, was it 2007? Yeah. November I 2007? So. Yeah. Um, I started when the open beta opened. I was not in the closed beta for Domo. I joined in January 2008. <laughs> Alright, and this guy's just blah blah blah. There's a big conflict in the world, and we summoned you here from the real world to help us out. Is basically the story behind Domo. Uh, they should really do some voice acting for this. That would make this like a million times better. Would. But you can kind of imagine what would the Chasm King sound like, especially since he goes roar later on too. Fade Dragon Tear, this world needs your help in order to return to a state of normality. I imagine he would sound sort of, you know, like an old man with a beard, so... Hmm, you choose to become a member of the human race. Not a bad choice. I could definitely do the voice of the Chasm King. <laughs> Alright, and there is absolutely no way to skip through these little videos, like you just basically gotta mash click if you don't want to read it, because I definitely don't. It's not a bad idea to read them though, if it's their first time playing. Oh yeah, so, yeah. oh yeah, for sure. Um, for me, I'm recording the video, so I'm just trying to keep it visually stimulating and keep the pace moving. Um, with our tibia video last night, we definitely spent a good like 40 minutes and moved like 10 feet, so... <laughs> gonna, gonna try to do it a little bit better, a little bit more progressive this time because we know Tibia a little bit better. You mean Domo? <laughs> yes, yes, we know Domo a little bit better. I'm sorry, it's a little bit early for me. I was up late last night. I'm just running around the summoning pool right now. Fun times. Like, when humans run, I don't know if you can see it on fade screen or not, but I have little dust clouds following me. Ah, uh, when I start moving, I will show you that. Yeah. When, you, when the self, you don't have it with the self. It just floats on the ground. See, little poofs of smoke behind me. Alright, so I guess I should put on this equipment that he gave me. And try to figure out where you mark those poo poo. North. The mini map is actually pretty helpful. You can also expand it so it's full map, and then there's also going to be a world map. Uh, I cannot access the world map at this. Oh, yes, I can. Also, I'm having some pretty bad frame rate issues with Domo. Uh, I might have to try to adjust some settings here in a moment. Right. Let's see what we can do here just in game. Um, I'm thinking most likely the problem is the cartoon effects. <laughs> no, still. Uh, wasn't there an option to turn off the... there we go, turn off the glow. Uh, that helped a little bit, I guess. But yeah, one thing, uh, I kind of don't want to mention it because it's kind of in a thing against Domo, but it really does not like Windows 7. Um, it, Domo is definitely designed for XP, and it doesn't seem like it's been updated at all, like for newer operating systems. Um, that being said, it's still completely playable, it's just sometimes you'll get like a little bit of a problem, or in my case, like a frame rate issue. And also, I'm not sure how many of these I'm supposed to kill, but I'm just killing them. Oh, five. But you can kill more. If you get, if you kill more than 20, then he goes like, oh, leave some for other people. Oh, I definitely don't want to kill more than 20. I'll just make sure I got five or whatever he needs. Because, yes, there are rewards uh, for turning in the quest, but right now I don't think the work slash reward ratio is very good. I think it's a uh, hundred 
for a bone. I can't quite remember. I did it. I did this yesterday. I got my character set up yesterday, so. <laughs> Alright, so just turning in these poo poo bones to Landlord Jack. Too bad he just like, doesn't automatically take them. Yeah, for, um. I think, what was it? Yeah, for the later quest, you'll be able to, um, select which one you want to turn in and then he'll take it. So you don't have to actually give him the item. Ah, that's cool. Alright, so talking to Mr. Rem this time. So much dialogue. So much dialogue. I kind of forgot how much dialogue actually was involved in this game. Uh, but that's just basically the beginning parts. Actually becomes a lot more like uh, a bit leveling later on and not so much the story. Although there's always the mirror quest as well, which is a great, um, great way to actually progress a story in an MMO. Um, hopefully in this series we'll be able to show you a couple of the mirror quests. Alright, so murdering flying poo-poos. And I'm sorry, Ari, for making you wait. Me being no, it's fine. <laughs> being all slow and such. It's alright. I'm just running around now. Alright, and he just wants poo-poo wings. Five of them. I gave him, I think, 15. He's like, Psh, you could have given me more. So I think for him, you can actually get more. Yeah, well, usually what I would do, I would just, like, hang out and kill everything here until there no more spawned, and then turn that in. Um, oh, they respawn. <laughs> yeah, they do. They'll stop respawning eventually, though. Because otherwise, people would just stay here and, like, level on them forever, and, like... You'd never see a noob until like level 20. Oh, uh, for Domo, actually, you can only, I think, there's a level cap when you stop getting experience from the monster. I don't quite remember what it is, but I think it's. Um, I believe it's about 10 levels. As I recall, the experience difference was 10 levels. Um, after 3 levels, you start dropping off on experience. Um, but Domo's experience is weird. It's hard to gauge any, like, any actual rhyme or reason to Domo's experience. Um, because, like, you could fight the same mob twice at the same level, and depending on the way that you deal damage, you might get more experience from one particular mob. Wait, are you talking about, like, AoE parties? Mm-hmm. AoE oh, or solo DPS. Oh, but isn't that because you share experience? Or are you um, talking about like doctor and whatnot? Uh, yeah. Well, actually, in general, doctor will get less experience than an AOE. -er. Oh yeah, that's because you leech the experience from the AOEs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Actually, what I'm talking about is like the actual overall experience system in this game. Um, mobs don't seem to have a set amount of experience set to them. Like it's there's like a rough approximation, but it depends on how you deal the damage. Um, for example, if you one hit a monster, you'll get less experience than if it takes you a minute or two to actually defeat it. It's weird. It's very weird, and people have tried to do calculations on it, and nobody's been right yet. Um, so I think I, my theory is probably the closest with it's just a little bit random. This 